Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello and welcome to MSHA Tag. Today we are covering entirely new topic that is how to become SAP Certified Associate Backend Developer ABAP Cloud. Because all the previous certification is going to be tried in near future and the certification which was 7.5 and other uh, are already expired. So now today we will explore how to become the SAP Certified Associate Backend Developer ABAP Cloud. Uh, the exam code is C underscore A B A P D underscore 2309. You can Google uh, by using this exam code. So let's start. Basically, it's uh, it's uh, it's covers it's comprises of the five main stages or five main journey steps and we will explore one by one uh, in detail in this video so stay uh, is, stick to this video so then you can find all the relevant information about this certification so first of all we have to uh, we have to setting up an ABAP environment on BTP so which will be fine and which will be fine by this link of SAP journey so let's uh, copy this. So the journey is start from setting up an ABAP environment on SAP BTP. This journey or this steps uh, comprises of 1.5 hours of working and exploring. So let's uh, explore this step. Setting up an ABAP environment on SAP BTP because uh, in order to do programming, we first have to uh, have to set up an BTP environment where uh, we can uh, do programming or we can uh, do uh, do our operations regarding the uh, BTP programming. So, in this uh, journey, um, it uh, it gives the complete knowledge of uh, setting up BTP uh, ABAP instance. So then you can uh, move forward. The after complete this, SAP is giving a record record of achievement also. So, in the next step, you uh, you will have to uh, do the uh, learning of basic of ABAP programming on SAP BTP. Uh, this uh, step covers all the uh, peak or the basics uh, topic which required to move ahead, like create an ABAP cock cloud project uh, in ADT, uh, ADT, the ADT is the environment which we have set up in the first step. In the second step, uh, implement conditional logic in ABAP program and in the next, uh, it also gives the hands-on or uh, hands-on of how to work with data type and how to analyze runtime error, what type of error will come and how to handle this. After that, we have also uh, have the extensive knowledge of retrieve data from database and at the end how to debug an ABAP program in BTP. So this topic is uh, very crucial and very important for moving forward. So uh, as a whole it has a total uh, of six hours of working of six hours of learning uh, you must uh, provide uh, complete six hours and don't escape any step of this or any lesson of this journey. So moving forward, we will have at the third step getting started with ABAP cloud development. Don't worry, I will uh, provide all the uh, links in my uh, description so you can easily explore all the step. Uh, so this third step or this third step is the live session schedule. So depending on your uh, uh, on your area, it will uh, SAP is giving the schedule of live uh, live session uh, which is uh, uh, which uh, which are free. You you should you only have to register but after logging to the uh, SAP uh, Universal ID. So here, like first registration date is 523 
and the second registration date is April 20, April, uh, 12th April 2024. So uh, this uh, live session uh, you can also ask any question regarding this and you can um, make your queries uh, align so then you can ask the your queries to the expert and um, move forward for the next step so our next step will be uh, one thing i must have to uh, state that this live session is complete is comprises of one hour only so at the fourth step we have to explore or we have to uh, complete our uh, our four ABAP skills regarding BTP and this is the main uh, main uh, journey step and uh, uh, the most important step uh, journey step is this the step number four it comprises of 30 hours of learning so let's explore this uh, uh, briefly first of all it uh, divided into two parts First uh, is the basic ABAP programming. It comprises of uh, unit one and getting started, applying basic techniques, working with local classes, reading data from the database, working with structured database, working with complex internal tables, implementing database update using objects, and uh, the most important, describing the RESTful application programming model. After this basic uh, part, it uh, it covers the intermediate. ABAP programming in 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 its first unit we have the uh, the learner the learner will explore analyzing and testing code how to use ATC uh, and how to use uh, the cockpit and how to um, run ABAP unit test and start SQL trace and analyze SQL trace result. So uh, in the unit two. It's uh, also again gives some detailed information about data type and uh, unit 3 processing character field and unit 4 using code push down in ABAP SQL. This is the whole topic, it is also an important uh, topic of uh, regarding SAP certification. After this, improving internal table performance, implementing authorization tag, uh, designing effective, and uh, the most uh, the most important that uh, the most important thing which is uh, which is the effective object oriented code which is uh, our two hours of uh, uh, learning so if we uh, if we go uh, in detail in this topic so you will explore that it covers use inheritance define interfaces use interfaces all the topics uh, like object oriented um, is the same as uh, we have uh, we as the any programmer did in previous certification but uh, the perspective and the bus the whole uh, scenario is depend on the BTP and business technology platform so moving moving forward uh, when we have co uh, when the two step of this uh, core uh, core programming skills uh, step uh, has been done and the modeling in ABAP dictionary in ABAP code CDS ABAP code data services uh, will introduce and you have to uh, you have to learn the how to explore uh, data modeling in ABAP and uh, creating database table defining global type and so on CDS this topic is also the most important and the most usable topic of this certification so these all uh, topics are the advanced topic, uh, but uh, both these topic depend on the first two uh, first two section of this core ABAP programming skills journey. So when you will complete this uh, uh, journey step, you have to move forward to the uh, the pra the practicing clean core extensibility for SAP S4 HANA cloud because uh, the uh, the cleaning uh, cleaning of the code or extensibility mean uh, is also an important part of uh, SAP certification as you can explore that that this topic is uh, has a weightage of 11 percent to 20 percent in SAP uh, certification so the rest of the 
our topic will cover from the step number 4 30 hours of learning and the uh, the other one the on uh, the clean sap clean code extensibility and ABAP cloud will cover into the step number 5 which uh, co which comprises of 7 hours of learning so move forward this step so if we explore this step it will uh, it will give a brief description that this learning will show how to implement extensions for SAP cloud consistent with clean core principle and align with your business use cases. After completing this learning, the learner will be able to build custom extension in SAP S4 HANA cloud using various tools and based on the concept of consumer grade user experience. So last but not least, the most important link is the certification link SCP certified associate backend developer which is our target so if we explore this certification that uh, it have the five main uh, sorry six main uh, topics uh, which uh, SAP mentioned the core weightage of each topic and also it also give the information that the certification will comprise of three hours and it will have 80 question and 65 percent is the passing passing uh, percentage of this certification you can also view sample uh, questions from this link uh, furthermore in, after uh, after go through the weightage of this uh, certification you can find that the most of the things are covered into the acquiring core ABAP skill and the uh, the rest of last uh, topic is covered in the practicing clean core extensibility so if you if you uh, explore more things you can also find that how to prepare is uh, how to prepare uh, on the suggestion is also the same which I suggest you and which I give you the link so uh, hope for the best uh, uh, finally if you pass the program you will get this certification hopefully i pray uh, for you and uh, hope for the best best of luck let's meet into another new video till then bye bye take care